on this one we're going to look at the different text effects that we can apply in ProPresenter 7 and how that's changed a little bit. So for starters, um, you can click on your text box and when you select it you'll see under the text tab that you have several different options. You can put a stroke which is the old outline. Um, so if we put a black color on that and start increasing the size of it, you'll see the stroke get bigger. Um, unfortunately, certain fonts don't play well with the stroke, so you'll notice that if we change back to, say, Arial, our W gets some horns on it, and uh, I think the number four uh, gets horns on it too, and there's a variety of different uh, characters that will not look as good so then you can turn it down until the horns go away so at seven Arial doesn't look too bad uh, but then if we got rid of the bold um, then it kinda comes back so then you gotta go down even more and then it looks like it goes away at three um, so sometimes three might not be enough uh, from a distance with a very busy background to really pop the, uh, the text out on the screen and make it easy for the congregation to read so for that reason um, I typically will go with Kandara Kandara seems to not have that problem. You can go very high with the effect and it doesn't uh, give you the horns. So, And there's a few different fonts that do that. Um, so moving along, the next one you can do is Shadow. Um, without Stroke, Shadow uh, gives the text a little bit of pop. Again, on a busy background, probably not good enough, but uh, definitely helps if it's uh, a not very busy background or not as much going on. Okay, and another really cool thing we can do with the text is the line effect. So if we go in here, let's go ahead and add a fill color to our shape. And let's tell it to put the stroke on so the text stands out. Or we could even just use shadow. Yeah, that looks good. Um, so now if you would check this lines only box, then you'll see that it kind of puts the lines or the background only to your lines of text and we can kind of adjust where that uh, background is so that looks good got equal on top and bottom now you can expand it the offset and make the height higher but it looks really cool if you actually go lower if you go into the negative it'll actually split the lines up so now um, if you were doing something like a lyrics or something like that um, and really wanted the text to stand out so that everybody can read it. You can do that and um, you know have that at the lower third or however you want to organize it. And then each time the text pops in, it will have that uh, that little line split in there and give the text a background. So then you really don't have to worry about using a shadow or anything, and your text will always stand out on that background. So a pretty cool feature with uh, with the lines. Um, Lastly, we'll go ahead and get rid of our fill. Another cool thing we can do with the text is if we select it here, we can, um, of course, you can do a list. So then each line, uh, as you have it, will get a bullet point in there. Um, so our single line there would get a bullet point. We can also do linked text. So linked text, linked text is really cool. Um, let's say here we don't want to do that, but let's add another text box and let's say we wanted to add like a counter or something to our um, to our slide. So we could put that down at the bottom. Let's say we want to put in our link text there, we can tell it what source. So you can say a timer and use a countdown. Um, you could also put a clock in there and it just shows the current time. Um, and text ticker which would be kind of like a marquee so you could have um, you know a bunch of text here and it only scroll through that text in this small box instead of you know spanning your whole screen so also kind of a neat effect so that is um, some of the new text effects that we can do in ProPresenter 7